All right, here we have the SSL, Solid State Logic Nucleus. Um, James, explain. You can tell it's um, SSL because it says Solid State Logic in little letters that light up on the front panel. Which and they nice. were, and probably still are, I would hazard a guess, as being the absolute top level provider. Yeah, definitely, definitely in the upper echelons of the upper end of uh, which, things which like the Which used, used to be the free four, five hundred thousand dollar Price mm -hmm. point area. Yep, yep, definitely. And here we got something that's well under ten grand. Yep. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, look, with a, with with the advances, I mean, SSL's got a pretty long heritage in terms of recording and things like that. You know, back from the days of tape. But with all the advances in digital audio, everyone's uh, using their computer now. Um, they've they've done the right thing, and they've got with the times. And um, well, you do that or you die. Yeah, and so so this thing, despite the fact that it actually looks like a mixer, um, it's not a, a mixer as as SSL have traditionally known it. You know, there's not 16 audio inputs to correspond to 16 faders. Um, what it is, this device is actually two things in one box. The first thing it is is a DAW controller, so you can link it into things like Pro Tools and Logic, and um, I got it running on Studio One. Uh, basically. It works in the same protocol as a Mackie Huey. So if you've got Mackie Huey support uh, or the ability to define your, your MIDI mapping of your control surface, um, it'll run with your system. Um, that side of the device runs via Ethernet. Um, configuring that's a bit interesting. Uh, getting the software up and running is a bit, uh, a bit of a challenge for us. Um, as it turns out, it was already configured correctly. Uh, I it's think, what default configured. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. And and the reality is that this is not the sort of device that you take to shows and tour around with. It's the sort of thing you put in, you install once, and then it just stays there forever and runs um, until you switch it off. So that's the first side of it. The second side is that it's a USB audio interface. Yep. Um, and I think in a time when, when we're starting to see sort of Firewire appearing and disappearing and Thunderbolt ports appearing and things like that, USB is probably... Uh, a fairly smart choice for that because yeah, it's certainly totally got the agree. bandwidth. Totally agree. Yeah. Um, so it's got a little USB hub in the back. Yep. Um, and the audio interface has two SSL super analog mic preamps. And they've got all the right buttons, fan and pad, home impedance, phase reverse, um, roll offs, and there's even insert loops for those. So you can use it as an audio input device, definitely. Mm. Um, and you can use it as an audio output device. Mm -hmm. It's got uh, balanced XLR outputs okay. for your monitoring. So the machine control here, what can you, what can you actually control with that? That will control your transport functions within your workstation. Mm -hmm. So it works uh, with anything? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dog shuttle wheel. Yeah, and these these are nice buttons. Beautiful sort of feel. Those. I mean, I, I like all the controls on this. It feels right. It looks right. Stylish. You know the patented chrome silver knobs. Yeah, You've and, have and, that. and and the the actual the fader jumping and things like that. You can jump along. It's not just limited to controlling 16 yeah. channels, because let's face it, no one seems to be able to fit anything into 16 channels these days. So you can jump along by banks or by channels, um, and how it does that is it, it shifts them along in jumps of eight, and that happens quite quickly. Mm. Um, and it, it sounds brilliant. <laughs> we, I, I, look, just, I hooked it up and, and listened to some stuff. And like, well, that, wow. that helps. But just look at look at the history of this this category of product. You know, SSL were there. Euphonics came along and sold a whole lot, and then did a whole lot of developments and went this way. And then they kind of went that way. And SSL are still here. So it says a lot for the brand. Mm. The brand's very important. Yeah, I mean, look, there's there's. There's definitely cheaper ways of getting a control surface or an audio interface. Well, or in when some you say cases, cheap, both. Uh, what, what's the cost on this? This, this is this is six k retail. Six k retail. But no, no. In fairness, we've we've looked at audio interfaces that cost that much. Yeah, I know. And Absolutely. they didn't have any of this going yeah. on. Yeah. Um, yes, they sounded good. It screams. It screams. This bargain. sounds good too. It screams bargain in this market at this time. Yeah, look, I, I don't think it's going to appeal to everyone. I don't, I don't think it's going to be um, like Weekend Warrior style, but then again, some of those types got, do surprise okay, you Okay, suppose you've got Pro Tools, yep. which now doesn't require any Pro Tools hardware. Yep. What are you going to buy to sit there and to feel good working on, you know? You've invested in the, the Mac, you've got the Pro Tools, you're committed, you've yeah. learned how to do it. You know, and also consider the fact that when, when you're sitting in a studio for hours, you want to be comfortable. Hmm. And this, this is comfortable, you know. This, Throw yourself back four good. years ago 
And your capital required to do all of this would have been three times as much. Mm, definitely. When you, especially when you add on the Mac and the Digi product and Pro Tools bits. And there's nothing to say you can't actually do some really nice recordings with this. Well, that would be the preference, wouldn't it? Mm. Well, I mean, it's not its sole purpose, but it's it's something that you can do. Mm. Well, and you, you can get you can get the preamp outputs mm. as um, line level okay. two, which is so cool. in Australia, uh, imported by Amber. Yep, SSL Nucleus. That's it.